Welcome to this Hershey Bears press conference. It's another special day for a special franchise. This decision in hiring the 24th head coach in this franchise's fabled history has been difficult. The process has been demanding, competitive, and tough. Mike Havlin has been a two-time ECAC champion, two-time Kelly Cup winner, AHL Coach of the Year in 2007, and Stanley Cup winner in 2010. Please welcome Mike Havlin. Thank you, Doug. Um, this is a, a great honor and a privilege uh, to be standing here in front of everybody here today. First off, I'd like to thank uh, George McPhee and the Washington Capitals and, and Doug uh, Yanks and the Hershey Bears. Uh, this is a historic franchise, and you know, with all the success they've had, uh, again, it's an honor and a privilege to be here and to be the head coach of the Hershey Bears. Uh, I'm excited. Um, uh, I know we have passionate fans and, and very loyal fans and, uh, and demanding fa uh, fans. And uh, I'm a demanding guy and I'm a passionate guy myself. And uh, uh, I'm a winner. Uh, I'm going to demand uh, excellence from day one. Uh, and that starts today. And uh, I'm just I'm excited to be in this area and be the head coach of the Hershey Bears and looking forward to uh, to having a lot of success here and, and uh, carving out our, uh, our teams uh, in the history of this uh, great franchise. Open this up, anybody, questions? I guess if both of you guys could kind of talk about the process and, uh, and where, th where and when things came together for this. He, uh, he gave up a lot of salary and paid us to Harm, so we decided <laughs> to go for it. Helps out our budgetary process. The process was uh, <clears throat> it started the day that we decided uh, not to uh, <clears throat> extend Mark, Mark French a contract. And I think it was about five minutes after that, the uh, email started hitting with people that was, was interest, interested. Uh, and suffice it to say, there was many. And uh, so we had to pri prioritize through that, came, came down to uh, an interviewable process, which took place last week. And uh, with uh, knowing Mike for many years and his success and his impeccable record, uh, we made the decision and finalized actually everything yesterday. So that's really how transparent. Uh, Mike, can you tell me what you, having coached against the Bears, what you thought of the organization being on the other side? Well, nothing but class. I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's an organization that, uh, in my mind, is the best uh, organization in the American Hockey League. and. Uh, you would come in and look around the building and you, you know, you look up in the rafters and you see nothing but, you know, the, the history and, and, uh, and the Calder Cup championships and, uh, you know, and it was a great building to come into. Uh, I know from a visiting coach, you would come in and, and every player in that room was excited to play and, and was ready to play because it was a playoff atmosphere. And, uh, you know, and I, I know there's a lot of pressure here uh, to win and, and to perform and, uh, you know, I love that. I, I think uh, I think it's the it's the best franchise in the American Hockey League. I think it's a great stepping stone for a player uh, to to uh, to be in front of that pressure, to have that pressure, to understand what it's going to take to go to the National Hockey League and be successful. So it was always amazing to come in. It would be nice to have the fans on my side now. So, well, yeah, speaking of that, I mean, coming in with Norfolk, a lot of memorable moments on that uh, visitors bench. What? Uh, any particular one you uh, recall, and how ironic is it going to be for you to switch over to the home bench? <laughs> <laughs> I just said uh, Doug walking down here would be nice. Is a guy that sit, stood behind there and gave it to me pretty good for a couple years, and uh, <laughs> and I don't know what he's going to say to me now. Uh, but uh, certainly, uh, you know, I think back of the Louis Robitaille and Sean Thornton chasing him around, and uh, and Thorny coming in and saying, "I just want to. I'm going to get. I'm going to kill him. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to." And Louis was doing his job, and they went on to win, you know, the, the Calder Cup with Bruce that year. And uh, but a lot of good battles, you know, uh, in here and in Norfolk. And uh, you know, just uh, to be on this side is is, is certainly is is an honor and, and a privilege. Uh, it's such a it's such a great franchise. So, be, like I said, it'll be really nice to be on this side of it now. You uh, interviewed with the Cavs last summer for the head coaching job. Do you think that kind of gave you a leg up? this situation? 
Well, I, I think for sure, you know, meeting with George and, and uh, Brian McClellan, I think, uh, you know, walking into the interview this year, Brian McClellan was uh, in with Doug and uh, certainly helped. I went through a couple interviews with them and uh, made it down to the finals there uh, with Adam. And uh, certainly, it certainly did. I think uh, Washington got to know who I was and what I was about. And uh, I had known, met Doug years ago when I got into the league and uh, you know we're, we were always cordial to each other always you know talked in the hallway downstairs and uh, you know I liked the teams he always put together and uh, I guess he kind of liked what I was doing on the other end too so uh, it would be nice to work together and, and build a championship team. Any decisions made on uh, the assistant coach situation and is Troy still in the mix? For sure he is um, you know I'm going it's an ongoing process uh, I'm going to it's going to start immediately here, and but Troy is definitely in the mix. He's done a, a great job here. I, I, I want to sit down and meet with him, you know, uh, immediately, and uh, you know. But it's again, it will be a process like we uh, like we had with uh, the head coaching, um, and we'll go through some guys. There's some real good candidates, but Troy's definitely in the mix. Stanley Cup Finals going on. What kind of sense of pride do you have in, in that event with uh, all the Blackhawks kids that you've you've dealt with going back to Norfolk and Rockford and also Mr. Thornton uh, with the Bruins here? Well, anytime uh, and, and Doug can, you know, obviously to answer this, anytime you, you, you develop or help develop young men and they go on in their careers and they, and they succeed, it's it's uh, you kind of get that proud father little bit uh, of a feeling and uh, certainly I'm proud of every one of those guys and you know I, I had a chance to go into Chicago as an assistant and uh, get uh, guys like Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves in their second year so you know it was kind of I helped I believe I was part of their development too and, and Duncan Keith and you know Brett Seabrook so so for me uh, I, I uh, you know, you look at it, and you're proud for all of them that they're they're in the finals and they have another chance to win, you know, a Stanley Cup, which is, a, you know, any trophy is a tough trophy to win. So it's, uh, you know, I'm I'm proud of them. Okay. Anyone else? Questions? Oh yeah, last one. Doug, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> If there are three or five or ten things that you wanted to see this next coach be do, what were those things? I want a more aggressive team. I want a team that's uh, in your face. I want a team that's tougher. And I want a team that's tough to play against at home. I thought our home record uh, last year uh, certainly wasn't what we wanted to be nor what it should be. I thought it was too easy to come at a giant center and play against us. And if you can remember the teams that Mike had in Norfolk, and going back to 06, he actually left Louis Robitaille to his team. And that's why we beat him, by the way. And so I, I think that's his, his coaching style is to you, you play hard, you play tough, you play consistent, and nobody runs you out of your own building.